Sam, first start this weekend, must be really excited. Yeah, massively. Um, just, yeah, coming down here, being involved and to actually, you know, start a game, come off the bench a couple of times. Yeah, I'm, you know, really looking forward to it. As a West Country lad coming home, you had, uh, you've just been talking to the media about your trips to France and that, um, but coming home, you, you said that was a big factor in you coming to the Chiefs. Yeah, ma ma yeah massively. Um, just being able to live in the southwest again, you know the people, you know the area, it makes everything um, a lot easier, especially, you know, what people expect. So, no, it's been really nice to, to move home again. And obviously coming up against the Chiefs in the past as a, a Bath player, um, you knew about this club, you knew where it was going and I imagine that was an incentive and something that excited you? Yeah, so since the day that they won the, the Premiership against Wasps, I think, you know, everyone's been watching. Um, I mean, well, I watched that game and I was, you know, it was a lot of, you know, honest um, blokes working hard for each other. And uh, it's definitely passed through. And obviously that's, you know, why the, the double happened. Is that what you're seeing now, being in the camp? The yes, definitely. Record? Yeah, yeah. So it seems, like, um, you know, I, I, it's been a while since I've been at a club where everyone's, you know, together, um, you know, like enjoy, you know, very much enjoys everyone com everyone's company. and. It does bring out the best in you because you're, you know, you are going to work with your, your mates as well. So, yeah, that's had a massive factor, I think, on how things have, you know, panned out. That people not only enjoy each other's company but work hard for each other as well. Uh, you, had, you talk about mates. You had a few mates here to settle in. That probably helped. Guys that you played with down at Plymouth. So, it wasn't necessarily a whole new daunting experience like, like sometimes. No, no, there's, uh, yeah, met quite a few of the lads at Plymouth. Um, so, yeah, there's Simo, um, Jack, Jack Maunder, Keisty, Streety, uh, both, both Skinners, um, a few lads that have left, Will Norton, and um, there's a few that have came down after I left as well. And it's, um, yeah, it's, you know, meeting all those lads as well. You know, we played with each other there. So coming here, it made the transition quite easy as well. How's been life settling in as a chief? Because... Oh, you know, I've been here long enough to know the standards are very high and, and the coaches demand that from you as a player. Yeah, the the sheer expectation of like what's expected of you here to um, what I was expected um, before is huge. And, and that, that took me, I think that took me a few a few months to, you know, like to, to work out that you're, you know, I came here and I, you know, I was going to work, you know, as hard as possible. Was it eye-opening, would you say then, was it? Yes, just, you know, how intense it is. Um, in, a good way. in a good way, obviously, yeah, in, in a good way that I'd, I'd come from a place where it was maybe, maybe not enough intent, intensity to a place where it's very intense. But when we do, when we finish training, that there is a switch off and, you know, lads can enjoy themselves. And it's, it's had a massive impact that when we're on, we're on and when we're off, we're off. And it's, it's helped that massively in that, in that respect. It was a tough opening couple of weeks to the season, but the last two, three weeks we started to see the real Chiefs and how, what did you put it down to? You know, I think it was. I think it was. Um, you know, when we started off, we we kind of have we had our game plan, we had everything to it, and I think it was very much um, we were we were trying to trying to execute new things that we weren't used to. The rules here and there are a bit different as well, and um, at the beginning, I don't think we kind of got on with it as as well as we wanted to, and then there was a massive mindset shift. Uh, we're going to have to, you know work work harder when things don't go wrong uh, things don't go right we we don't panic and we go again and we put it behind us um and we just get on with the job and that's had a massive uh, you know effect in the last few games how we've played life, uh, a year in, in france must be great but how, how has life changed in the premiership you're seeing a different premiership coming back yeah huge since watching it so when i was in france top 14 it was um watching the Premiership on the restart, it was a lot different to how I remembered playing in it. Um, it was very much, um, obviously, just the sheer amount of games. It changed, I think, it, obviously, the rotation and um, some games were unbelievably intense and then some games were, they seemed, obviously, it was very one-sided. But coming back, it's very much, oh, you can see with the table now, you know, Leicester are now at the top. You know, it, things have changed now, and each week, some of these, you know, these games are in big battles. Um, so, and you know, obviously, yeah, we've got a few other, you know, one more team in there as well now. So, no, it is, it is a lot more intense, and it's, it's very much back to the Premiership of old. Irish this weekend, 
a side that we know are going to come out fighting. They've shown that in the, the draws that they've come back from. Mm. They've been a real battling side. Um, yeah, very resilient. I think the main thing is that we know that they're going to be there from the minute one to minute 80. So, um, you know, we're going to have to keep on rolling with the punches, you know, until the very end. We can't, you know, we can't just expect them to be done and dusted early. That, that we're going to have to fight until the very much the last minute. You've been here as an opponent. You've been here as a, as a chief. I'd imagine the crowd dynamics are a bit different when, uh, when you get ready for it. Yeah, well, yeah, playing here with another team and you, you can't hear anything except the, the tomahawk chop and... Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty demoralising, especially when you, you're getting a, a heart, you know, a, a big pumping as well. So, and then obviously being on the other end from the Munster game, the uh, the atmosphere. Just come in, isn't it? The, yes, the huge. Like yeah, I think the atmosphere here and the fans, uh, yeah, they're one of a kind. I think it is really spe- it is really special. So yeah, that was yeah. The, the the difference is massive. It is quite very uplifting. Final thought ahead of the weekend. We talked about the excitement, but. You've got a job to do now, haven't you? Yeah, I think the main thing is, you know, we keep keep to what we're good at. You know, we don't we don't do anything, you know, majorly off the cuff, and we back each other to work hard, and you know, we'll we'll get the win. Um, so there we go.